I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play The Aquatic Adventures of the Last Human. So, one quick complaint here. The game supports windowed and full screen mode, does not support full screen windowed, and if you try to force full screen windowed, I've got this app called uh, <coughs> Borderless Gaming uh, that tries to force full screen windowed. It just, the screen actually just expands infinitely to the right, which is kind of funny. I've found a few games do that before. Um, I can't play this full screen windowed, which is generally my preferred way to play pretty much everything ever. But, uh, whatever. I'm just playing normal full screen here. So we are the last human. Apparently we fall into this thingy. You might notice I did start the game before. I played for like two minutes, if that. Uh, I just decided, you know what? Let's just jump right in. This game will be available in uh, about a week from when I'm recording this. Hopefully I should be uploading it right away unless something weird happens. But um, <coughs> the game will have a discount right around launch. It's on itch.io and Steam. I need to do a video about itch.io. Um, it's it's a really cool indie game storefront that just anybody can upload their stuff to. And, you know, it completely obliterates the need for uh, hosting your game on your own site or hosting on Dropbox. You can choose your own rev share. You can, you know... You don't have to pay anything. It's it's amazing. Uh, that's I always have uh, an itch.io link in addition to Steam because I know a lot of people use only Steam. Uh, you shouldn't though. You should because you can get Steam keys from itch.io too. But anyway, that's that's for another video. So we are we are a little submarine here. It's a good thing that our spaceship doubles as a water ship because I mean I'm pretty sure it's not common for that to. We got a button that hisses, but we don't. Press the oh, hello. Space will be our new frontier for interstellar missions. Okay, Parker. Of course, you interrupt. Just sit over there, okay? All right. So this base doesn't seem to have worked out too well for the humans. Soma, anyone? I don't want to talk too much about Soma. Soma is a great game that I absolutely cannot talk much about because of spoilers. Looks like broccoli. Does it look like broccoli? Parker. Parker, your butt is in front of the screen, sir. 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 Oh, the pipe fell out. They're doomed. What's that? I want that. What's this? Parker, your butt is covering the text boxes. Parker, please. Honey. Full gate remain closed until the water level stabilizes. Base will be your home for now. <coughs> I want that. Is that a thing? It looks like a thing. I'm pressing all the buttons. I can't get that. I guess. Oh, I bet it's a uh, Parker. What are you doing? You're not even attacking the screen with stuff on it. What do you want? Just sit down, please. Okay. Don't you get sassy with me. No promises. I'm going to try to read dialogue. So more and more reports coming in. Gigantic clams are destroying our worker drones. Be cautious out there, workers. This is where I stopped. I, I, I touched one of the clams and, like, instantly died. And it gave me an achievement called Huma Mankind is Extinct or something. Uh, unfortunately, I, I can't trigger that twice, so I won't bother dying. So we have sewage pipe leaks. Oh. Oh, goody. Beware sewage pipe leaks. Corrosive sludge will greatly damage the hull of your ship. Okay. That's right, Parker. We don't want to die. That's right. What are you doing? What? 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 He's hunched over my phone. It, it's... What? Oh! Ship upgrade. We got a thing! Oh, now he's attacking the screen. That I'm playing games on. Good for damaging, hostile. Right trigger. Press and hold, charge. Parker, please. Also be used to press buttons. Alright, we aim with the right stick. It only goes under us. I'm playing with a controller. Um, uh, so this. I figured this would activate these things. Do, do we get a map? Oh, that thing in the top right is a map. Up! Ah, ah! Oh, oh what? 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 Doesn't work! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! Okay, right. I've got the win the email open. It's from Noon! It's the... Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. There's actually worms that... Oh, man. What? Ugh. I should have got closer.
close. There's actually worms that look like this. They're really cool. I love underwater creatures. I love games that have an underwater focus. And so I, I took a quick look at this. I just decided I would probably like it. Um, I love underwater creatures. I don't actually... Oh, God. Um, I actually don't float. At least I didn't float the last time I tried. And I don't really want to ever try again. Because uh, it results in me slightly drowning. So, yeah. I don't, I don't swim anymore. Like, I would just, you know... I, I learned to swim as a kid. I took swimming lessons and all that. Wow. You do not have much health in this game. Um, either that or you don't have invincibility frames and you just... Oh, you can murder the innocent fishies. Oh, well. Um, so we got some Metroidvania-ish stuff going on here. Okay, let me let me read my key features. I, I just jumped right into the game. But we got stunning... Oh. Stunningly detailed pixel graphics, 10 challenging, well-designed boss battles, hypnotic electronic score by composer Carl Fedonin. Okay, I, I should probably focus on the boss battle. What the fuck? Whatever, just kill me. Wow, you, you do not get invincibility frames. You just die pretty quick. Modern take on the classic Metroidvania genre. Okay, I guess I probably should have at least found out what genre this is. Wait, wait does this charge? Oh, it charges! Okay, important to know. Why don't I take organic storytelling? Learn about the world through hollow tapes. Oh, I, I like when you sort of uh, you learn about stuff while exploring. That's a lot of people complaints about audio diaries and shit, but uh, I really like just finding out um, the lore of a world and whatever. Oh god! Oh god! Wow, that. That is really annoying to try and dodge. Uh, it's possible as long as you just gotta back up and shoot anything that comes your way, I guess. You got a lot of health, buddy. Either that, or I'm not sure if charging up actually does more damage. No, I don't think it does. It just makes you shoot further. Okay, so I... Oh. I just gotta spam it when, when I get a close range shot. But I can't get too greedy because of that. So it does not encourage risky play, that's for sure. Whew. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Rude! At least that doesn't hurt very much, surprisingly. Alright. I. F <laughs> Oh, 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 wow. Okay, okay. Ooh, ah. There's a much better way to deal damage then. Oh god, oh god, okay. What? <laughs> he realized he was facing the wrong way. I was just like, eh, screw it. I'm not gonna give you free shots. You're gonna come from the left, I know it. You're gonna do the thing. Oh, are you just doing normal pattern? There you go! Whoa! Added to creature log, press the A button to close. Worm is dead! And his gore opens up a path. Alright, what's all the way over here? Nothing, apparently. Oh, and the final key feature here is plausible plot driven by real life issues. It's Explore the effects of time change and technological progress. This is what happens with global warming. Giant ass worms that you have to fly into with the submarine. Do you want to put up with that? And then you have to fly out their buttholes. Do you do you want to deal with that? If not, I suggest stop you stop using fossil fuels. Otherwise you'll have to fly out a giant worm's butthole. That's that's how it works. I'm sorry. Did we didn't Did we not get anything for that? I was expecting to get something for, you know, beating a boss, but, uh, <laughs> brutal. Oh, right, these. Maybe, that must have unlocked something somewhere then? Anyway, I, I was, I got interrupted by a, suddenly a boss battle, but, um, I actually really like, uh, learning a game's lore and story and whatever. 
um, through, you know, bits and pieces as you explore. A game that does that super well is um, Road Not Taken. It's a roguelike puzzle game. I should I should show it off sometime. Uh, I guess I probably shouldn't kill my light source, should I? Um, it's, what is that? It's just for the light. Um, but yeah, it... As you, like, discover new um, puzzle pieces in the game, like, it's a puzzle game, um, and there's different types of blocks you interact with, like bears and berries and different plants and stuff you have to, you know, avoid or uh, interact with. And as you interact with them, you uh, learn uh, info about them, and, and you start learning some really grim stuff from... Oh, hello. Um, you start learning some really grim stuff about this story, and the story, like, you start learning the deeper and deeper secrets as you, you know, find some of the more late-game stuff. So, uh, it's pretty cool. What are we got going on here? Sooner or later we will die on this planet. All of us. Dinosaurs less than 65 million years. We'll never make it that long. <laughs> Good try. Oh! Health upgraded. Oh, okay. So this health upgrades. Pretty standard stuff for Metroidvania, I suppose. It doesn't quite it doesn't really look bad, but the the, the pixel the mixed pixel ratios do sort of bother me in games like this. Like you'll note the far background has very large pixel size. Our ship, pretty small. Some of the background detail is like medium between our ship and the background. It's a little... It doesn't necessarily look bad, but uh, it just bugs me a teeny bit. But I, w I wonder if people that grew up on... Uh, eh? That didn't grow up with games that, you know, had, you know, actual super low resolution and were just hindered like that. Uh, I wonder if they'll be bothered by uneven pixel ratios. Seaweed forest. Oh, pretty. I was kind of expecting this to murder me, but it didn't. I'm glad. I just, I really love aquatic stuff like this. I'm super excited for this game called Abzu. I think it's, I know it's on PS4. I think it might be PC too. Pulse speed. Oh, do we, do we auto heal? Okay. Um, It's a little hard to tell our position when, when we're against the walls to our color. Okay, we can't explore this place yet. Though it is a time-honored tradition of showing us sort of a little peak of the next area. I always really like that in Metroidvania games. Some people whine about the name Metroidvania. It's definitely its own type of genre. It's definitely a valuable name, and I mean... The only th real thing to complain about is that, you know, it actually incorporates a couple different game type, like, titles into it. I mean, that's slightly annoying, but I don't think it's, you know, a huge problem. And I don't I don't think explore like, some people try stuff like exploration platformer. I mean, it doesn't have to be a platformer. There's this game. This is obviously not a platformer. There is, um, oh crap, what is the name of that? Um, Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. Uh... Controls a little bit like this. Uh, I should show off that one too. That's really good. I haven't quite finished it yet. It's very long. I'm not sure I'll show this whole game. I'm not sure I'll, I'd show that whole game. Um, I'm sort of... If you have opinions on whether I should, you know, continue doing mostly quick looks... Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna read this. I hope it's bound. Okay, so they really do harbor the... I wasn't sure if the last human thing was like a comedic thing or no. They're taking this pretty serious. Um, um, anyway, if you have opinions on whether I should do mostly quick looks or like try to complete whole games, do let me know. I, I only have so many, oh, save points. Um, I only have so much time, but, uh, for some games like Aviary Attorney, I was really hooked on that and I wanted to do the whole dang thing, but, um, as long as this is not my day job, there's gonna be some limitations to how much stuff I can do and um, you know 
how much I can practice before playing stuff, how much I can, uh, time I can dedicate to one game. Especially if the bad thing is, like, I was planning to do all of Soma, and then Soma, for whatever reason, I guess because of spoilers, maybe, um, just got really low views, and I mean, I wouldn't suggest watching, um, if you're going to play it, but don't, you know, haven't played it yet, I would definitely not recommend spoiling yourself. Um, but I was excited for that one, I absolutely loved the game, but it didn't get tons of views, and I mean, I just had to, you know, abandon it, because I mean, it wasn't, it was going to take a fair chunk of time. Uh, it's not super long. But, you know, it wouldn't have been worth it. And when planning, I can't really estimate which games, like, uh, I hope this game get, like, I hope all of my videos get decent views, but I mean, that's not how it all, that's not how it always happens. Um, I do hope that playing this game early will help a bit, hold upgraded. Nothing too exciting, but, uh, should keep us alive, maybe. Um, I do, when, I, ah, oh yeah, we, we sort of constantly refill our health there, that's cool. Um, we just almost died there. Um, I, I, I've started to put my name out there and try to get access to stuff. Oh, it's boss time. Route stallions of the sea. Okay then. Oh god! Okay. We're dead. That's where you would have gotten that little mankind is extinct message. Are, th are those. I, I don't think under. Excuse me! What was that? I should have shot it. Uh, oh, those are pla. Oh! Uh, I was wondering why there was windmills underwater, but it's because of the sea level rising and blah blah blah. You get it. Can we kill these? Yes, we sure can. I'm not sure why I was stuck on... What am I stuck on? Like... What? That doesn't seem like it should have collision, but it does. Whatever. Uh, was I saying something? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I, I'm in the position now to get, you know... Oh, crap. I forgot to mention this. Uh, a review copy of this was provided by the developer free of charge be somewhat obvious the first week since this is actually before the game comes out um, yeah I'm gonna did those hurt it's freaking got baby minions what is this this is cruel and unusual parenting oh that's not an obstacle oh God. Whoa, 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 hey chill I'm just trying to murder you don't don't get don't get fussy with me they're birthing at me how rude how many freaking kids do you have? I mean, you're not even the mothers, so you can't, you know, you can't be live birthing at me. You, you, you just had those in your freaking little dad pouches. Okay, we're at half health, but okay, this... The right one is more wounded. For what it's worth. Okay, 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 no, okay, no. Oh, this game also has a gamma felt. They're spawning the. There's more of them! Why are there no. <laughs> the, those. Wow. I did, didn't know if those would collide, but they hurt a lot. There's a gamma slider, and it it wants the game to be fairly dark. And uh, apparently, this is why, because there actually are dark sections where. Oh god. Um, light can affect gameplay. I, I always leave my gamma a little higher than it tells me to, because. Um, at least when I'm going to record a game, because I don't know everybody else's computer, so I just want to be sure that everybody can see what's going on. And I would rather you see too much than too little. And sometimes YouTube can be a little too dark. Okay, so those can be enemies. I, I didn't think that... I didn't want to kill the little seahorses, but I guess I guess we got to do that. Oh well. I wanted to shoot that guy in the cutscene, but it was like not. Ugh. So not being able to shoot upwards is like a pretty severe. Whoa! Oh god, they knock you into clams. That's clever. Ow. Quit throwing your spawn at me. It's just, it's rude to, the, to me. It's rude to them. It's just, wow. You're just gonna sit there and take a beating, aren't you? Okay, 
maybe I can, oh god. Oh, they're releasing, they release, I thought a bunch of the mid-sized ones just randomly spawned, but no, they, the fathers released them too. This is really cool though. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect from the boss battles, but it's cool that it's, you know, based on real marine life. Even though I'm pretty sure there are not, you know, giant spaceship sized, um, well, I mean, this is what global warming causes. Global warming causes giant evil seahorses. You don't want giant evil seahorses, do you? Why, fathers? Frickin' ship-sized chainsaw, okay. Yeah, I figured that would, that cuts through the vines, right? Seaweed, yep. Is this massive saw really only meant for cutting seaweed? Click anywhere. I'm not sure how this, can I try? No, I can't. Um, Oh, you change weapons. That's what L1 and R1 do. See, I can't um, check out how well the uh, keyboard controls work as long as I have the uh, thing open. Oh no! Leave those fish alone. Okay, let's let's go save. This is a pretty good time to go and save. This is just like a melee weapon. Ow! No! Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Tell me that. Okay. Okay, it saves after you beat a boss. Okay, that's very good to know. I was going to go back to the save point, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Um, so yeah, this is... Um, what is this? This is the Aquatic Adventures of the Last Human. Or Adventure, not Adventures. Um, but yeah, you can find a link to buy it in the description. And I guess we'll, let, we'll continue at least one more episode. I guess we're... At least going by the number of bosses, we're one-fifth of the way through, so that's not too bad for 20 minutes. Let's see, I'll consider it. We'll do at least one more bit. Yeah, thanks for watching.